Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here is Van Amsen. Uh, today we have a fantastic coding uh, challenge that uh, get uh, yeah really interesting. So uh, make sure to stick around uh, till the end as we dive deep into the logic, live coding and uh, testing to ensure our solution is uh, bulletproof. All right, so let's kick things off by understanding the problem uh, number uh, 500. Uh, 15 from Litco daily challenges, find largest value in each uh, three row. So our goal is to find the largest value in each row of a binary tree. So given uh, the root of binary uh, tree, uh, we return an array of the largest value from uh, each row. And for instance, if our tree has a value uh, one, three, two, five, uh, three, uh, null, nine. So uh, this is uh, this particular uh, three. So here is null. So yeah, no, uh, yeah, leave. Uh, and our output should be one, three, nine. So uh, it's one, three, and uh, nine. So now uh, when we understand the task, uh, let's dive into the logic. So the best way to tackle this is to traverse uh, the tree level by level uh, with, uh, yeah, also known as uh, breath for search, uh, BFS. Uh, using uh, BFS, we will explore each row of the tree, uh, capturing its maximum value and then move on to the next row and also capture the uh, next uh, maximum value. So let's understand this with uh, yeah, a quick example. So uh, if we start with the root uh, one, uh, we move to the next level grabbing the maximum between uh, those uh, two. So yeah, first uh, one, then grabbing uh, three because we can choose between three and two. And then we uh, move into the last row and also compare uh, five, uh, three, nine, and pick uh, the maximum value. And that's why our result will be one, three, and nine in this case. So uh, let's go this up. So we will begin by initializing our result array and uh, a queue for BFS. And the queue will help us traverse uh, level by level. I also try will try to uh, yeah uh, add some comments so you uh, can follow. So base case, if tree is uh, empty, so if not uh, yeah not root, return empty. So yeah, empty tree, nothing to traverse, and then initialize result list and BFS queue with the root. So result and queue will be the queue root. So next step, traverse each level of the tree. So while queue, so we have queue, uh, get number of nodes at current level, current level, size len q, initialize maximum value for the current level. So maximum value will be float minus infinity iterate over each node of the current level. So for new range current level size, node will be Q, pop left, and update max value if current nodes is greater 
So max value will be max between max value and our node value. So add shield nodes to, yeah, to the queue for the next level traversal. So for child in node left, node right, uh, if child, then Q, oh, yeah, Q, append child, and yeah, append the maximum value value of the current level, the result. Result, append max value, and finally, return the list of maximum, maximum values for each level. So return, result, and that's all. So uh, we have finished our implementation, so we can run it to verify uh, if it's working. So yeah, uh, given a previous example, output one, three, nine, uh, all good. Uh, so yeah, uh, what we did, uh, so we traverse uh, everything uh, using PFS. So now let's uh, submit it also for uh, unseen test cases. So given unseen test cases, yeah, we pass uh, having uh, beaten 24% with respect to runtime and 39 with respect to memory. Uh, so really interesting. Uh, to be honest, I yeah implemented uh, this solution uh, previously, and yeah, uh, same code, uh, maybe without comments, uh, but runtime was thirty eight milliseconds. So uh, yeah, probably some uh, dispersion of seventy uh, milliseconds, and yeah, uh, previously beating uh, seventy percent, exactly the same code. So yeah, but uh, still, uh, as you can see. All good so even if I rerun it uh, it's 53 so really interesting so probably uh, yeah, it's depend uh, on the runtime so uh, my previous was uh, 48 milliseconds so really interesting so uh, what we did uh, we traverse each node uh, in the current level uh, yeah and update our max value our child to the node queue and uh, output the result. So uh, quite uh, straightforward. And especially if you are equipped with BFS and try this task and also a few other with BFS to yeah, be really familiar with BFS. So then it will be uh, quite straightforward uh, and really intuitive to yeah, see the pattern, uh, know your tools and use those tools to solve those pattern. Uh, so yeah, perfectly, uh, everything uh, yeah, works perfect. So thank you for sticking with me till the end. And I hope you learned something uh, valuable today. And if you enjoyed this coding session, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more uh, yeah, uh, coding adventure, uh, challenges, tutorial, machine learning, uh, tech, finance, and much more. And uh, if you have any question, drop uh, yeah your question and thoughts in the comment section below. And yeah, so most importantly, keep practicing, stay motivated, happy coding, and see you next time.